Good morning everybody and a nice warm welcome back to my workshop. Um, looks like winter's set in uh, for yet another season. So um, today's project, um, you know how much I like making goblets. I absolutely love them. I find it very therapeutic. And today's project, I've got some spalted um, sycamore and I've marked it off the centers I'm going to get it in between two step, two step centres, I can't talk this morning, it's that cold. Um, get it to round and then we'll try and make a nice shape. I think I might put a couple of captive rings on. Uh, for those who've seen it done before, I do apologise. But I do have some uh, new viewers who've never seen it before. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, if we've got enough room, we will put... Um, We'll put a couple of captive rings on it then. Okay, we'll get it in the lathe and get it around. Well, I've marked it off because uh, I'm, I'm going to make the top more like a, a champagne flute. Um, so you need quite a bit. I'm just hoping that I'll have enough there to put a couple of captive rings on. I'm sure I will, um, but we'll we'll try that um, and we'll, we'll get that to a little bit of shape. Then we'll hollow it out. Right, I've got to the shape that's required. Um, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hollow it out now, and you know my favorite way of doing it. Uh, I drill it with a force in a bit, uh, then put the extension on, get it to the desired depth, then um, obviously use a hollowing tool to, uh, to get it to the shape that's required. Um, I just find it a lot easier than using a, a, a bowl gouge on, on short bits like that so uh, I'll get on and drill it through. Well, I've showed you this many times before, it's time to hollow it out. I like to use one of my favourite tools. It's an 8mm hollowing tool, uh, it's a square bar and the cutting tool or the cutting disc is uh, angled, once you've put that on the, uh, the rest itself, is angled at a 45 degree angle so it's given given it optimum cutting angle right the way through so we'll get on and uh, you need to cut just above centre so uh, we'll just hollow it out uh, another two or three millimetres and then that, that should do us What I'm going to do now is just take this down a little bit and start to make uh, the base of it. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is the captive rings want to be um, slightly smaller than the base so they don't come off. Thank you. 
Well, I've got these approximately seven millimeters and I would say I've gone in approximately 12 millimeters. What we're gonna do now is just round these off uh, to the shape of a, of a captive ring and then what's most important is to sand them down and get them finished uh, before you part them off. Uh, I'm gonna obviously shape that, uh, the, the base that little bit more and then get it ready for, for parting off. Uh, so we'll get on and we'll get these uh, to shape and then sand it down before we As I said earlier, uh, I've got them to uh, the shape of the captive ring. What I'm going to do now is uh, just sand it off and make sure that it's nice and smooth before we part them off. It's time to part them off now. Uh, now, what I do have is a, a parting tool. It is not necessary that you have one. You can make your own um, out of um, an old Allen key, anything like that. Um, I've got this, and to be perfectly honest, for the times that you use it, you are better off um, just making your own out of uh, an Allen key. Uh, and then if you, you can use it in exactly the same way. This is where I removed one of the rings and uh, all will become uh, clear at the end of the video. I'll explain why I've done it. Well, the reason I've put that on, uh, obviously simple, we're going to do uh, sand the inside of the ring um, because obviously it's uh, it's still got the little part what uh, didn't break off.
that is another one done and I must say I just love doing um, goblets I haven't done the one that shape the uh, the champagne flute but I've got two captive rings on um, it's unusual for three of them to turn out but um, all I've done I cut one off as you've seen in the video uh, finished the bottom off um, the grain you can see the spalting in it is is quite good so uh, all in all I thoroughly enjoyed that I don't know whether you can see down there but I've cleaned it all off inside uh, and I'm sure that um, people will look at it and say yes it would be nice on my uh, TV or you know uh, sideboard so some, something like that I'll, I'm sure I'll find a good home for it the reason I like to put two uh, captive rings on they're a good wedding present um, because as you know you can't you can't take them off the carved onto the uh, onto the piece itself um, and to be perfectly honest what I always say to people and it's true if anybody can take them rings off or get them off without breaking them then they will not be able to break the marriage up so the bride seemed to go well on that you know some bridegrooms do as well but um, I'm sure that um, two looks better than three but I always I always try three because Sod's law, it will one will break. Uh, I've had numerous ones break on me. So anyway, all in all, enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it, please give me the thumbs up. Uh, I do appreciate it. Any comments, just leave them down below. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Anyway, I'll catch up with you on the next video. Thanks for watching now. Bye.